and barbecue sauce just spills on my boot. Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I think I'm a model of Vogue or something because today we're going to be looking at what's inside my back. As well as this, welcome to the channel if you are new, and if you're not new, welcome back. If you like this video, guys, consider subscribing down below so you won't miss any content that I post in the future. I'm a tiny YouTuber. I'm trying to reach a thousand subs soon. So if you help a girl out, that would be appreciated. If you'd also like to help me in any other way, you can either leave a like down below to let me know you like this video, or you can also comment down below anything you'd like, anything that comes to mind. Let me know how your day was. Let me know what you had for lunch. Um, just let me know whatever you want to let me know, as long as it's appropriate for YouTube standards. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to do that, that would be mucho appreciated. I have my purse right here. Don't look at my nails, they are naked. I got anxious yesterday and I bit all my nails off. So don't look at my bare ass nail beds, but do look at this cute coach purse that I have in my hand. Ah, oh, it's literally one of my favorites. I love this purse. I love this purse. I love this purse. I also have a longer strap for it if I want it to go across my body instead of just like over my shoulder like this, but I usually just carry my purses over my shoulder. So I just keep this strap on. It's really, really cute. Yes, ma'am. In the back, I don't have anything in it, but it has this little lip. If I have like money, normally I'll just stick it in the back of this and then I'll situate it in my wallet afterwards so I don't hold up the lens because like I said, I have anxiety. So usually I just stick all my change from dollar bills in here and then I'll situate myself after. We're gonna open this ish up. Boop. Okay, what we got in here? I'm gonna pull up the first thing I see and it's a Wendy's receipt for $20. Oh yeah, I got really stoned with my friends and we ended up hitting Wendy's. Wendy's is really good food. I love their Frosties. I'm like one of those weird people that dunk their fries in their vanilla frosty. If you haven't tried it, don't knock it till you try it. Like, I swear to God, it sounds so weird, but the sweet and salty, it just does something. It does something for me. So, next time you go to Wendy's, if you haven't tried that, get some fries and get a frosty and dunk that ish in there. Cause I swear to God, it tastes like heaven. I totally forgot to show you guys. Look at how cute this buckle on the front of this is. This is Coach and it has New York on the bottom of this. It's like just like a little carriage. It's their logo. I love it. It's super, super cute. That's like one of the things that caught my attention with this. I have some cuticle oil. It's rose scented. It's from the brand Flowery and it has these little flowers in the bottom. It's super cute. It's really satisfying too. I like to put this on after I do my fake nails. So not only are my fingers cute, uh, I smell like roses as well. And my cuticles are hydrated. It's a win, win, win. I just carry this cuticle oil with me in case I'm out and about. I notice my cuticles are looking a little dry. Um, so I'll fix it real quick. Speaking of being dry, um, like me, I have this After the Rain hand cream. It smells like white birch and jasmine from Find Your Happy Place. I love this brand. They have a lot of um, just like small cosmetics for your hands. I have some hand sanitizer in here as well from them. I just carry it with me. It smells good. So when my hands dry, I just throw this on quick. It's especially helpful for when it's really cold outside. I'm from New York, so it gets really dry outside. Yeah, I carry moisturizer on. The hand sanitizer I mentioned is also from the same brand. The scent Blush Rose and Magnolia, and it's pink. It matches my bag. It has little roses on the front. Super, super cute. I just like the smell of roses. Everything I own, rose scented. I like roses. I like smelling like roses. So I carry rose scented stuff on me. Okay, what else is in here? This Cherry Cerise Lip Tint. Super, super cute. I got this when I was on vacation last year in Palm Springs in Florida uh, from a little shop that I ended up stopping by near Disneyland. Uh, it's just a little red tint. I have some lip liner on right now, so this isn't like entirely the color, but when I rub it off later, my lips are a little bit redder than usual. So this is convenient whenever I don't want to actually wear lipstick, but I want to add a little bit something to my lips, you know? But honestly, it's annoying to carry lipstick and having to fix it every time you go out. It's just, I don't want to have to touch up my lipstick every time I eat or drink because I eat a lot and I also like water, so. Okay, what else is in here? When I went to Wendy's with my friends, I ended up donating a dollar and they gave me a coupon for it. So I got a dollar off coupon because I donated money to needy children. This is my wallet. It's from Michael Kors. 
This is actually a passport wallet, uh, but I don't use it for a passport because I don't have one. I also carry a cup condom with me. If you don't know what these are, when you order a drink at a bar, you can stick this over and stick your straw into like the little eye hole here and it'll keep people from drinking your drinks. The fact that I have to even carry these is kind of scary, but you know, better safe than sorry. I also have one of these in my purse. I just like carrying several. Um, originally my dad ended up buying a couple of these for me. I ended up actually liking them. So I ended up buying a couple more. And whenever I go out with my friends and I see that they're carrying a drink around or whatever, if they're doing their own thing, um, I'll just hand them one, you know, cover up their drinks. Makes me feel a lot better because I'm that friend that cares about their friends too much. Uh, I just don't want anything bad to happen to them. So normally I'll just give them one make sure nobody is getting hurt you know a better safe than sorry okay what else is in here this is the cup condom that i just was talking about i'm gonna stick that over there i have a tide pen these are so handy oh my gosh when i say this will change your life like like i said i eat a lot and i'm also clumsy so i'm bound to get shit on my like shirt stay i go to wendy's again because i tend to go get fast food a lot i like chicken nuggies I'm eating my chicken nuggies, I, uh, I go to take a bite, and barbecue sauce just spills on my boot. Not good. You know what does come in handy for these situations? Tide pens. All you have to do, you open it up, you push it a couple times, I'm gonna do this on my shirt like this, and then you rub the liquid that comes off, and that gets rid of the stain. Like I said, super, super handy. Um, These are usually like four or five bucks. If you're thinking about carrying one of these, highly, highly, highly recommend. What's the worst thing that could happen? That you're overprepared? Oh no. I have Victoria's Secret perfume. I get these little perfumes a lot because I order a lot of lingerie and they give out like little samples of perfumes whenever you do. I just carry little perfumes for when I need to freshen up in public. Uh, it says Heavenly on the front and it has a little gold back. Super, super cute. It's, I don't know how I would explain this. Almost like an ocean breeze scent, but it smells like there's like a little bit of musk in there as well. It's good. It's good. Trust me. It's good. I also carry a pen with me everywhere I go. It also has a back that you can use on your phone. I usually have long nails and it's a pain to do things on your phone without one of these little grippy ends. So I utilize these a lot. And whenever I go out to restaurants, usually waitresses and waiters are really busy people. And I'm not about to bother them over and over again. I just carry my own pen. Really, it, it just makes my life easier. Hmm, this is gonna be exciting. I carry rolling papers and rolling filters. <laughs> Cause I'm a stoner. You never know when you're gonna have to be a peacemaker in your group, you know. Um, roll up a joint, all the vibes are fine after that. I just carry rolling papers and shit on me. It's convenient when you're out and about and you wanna smoke some. Uh, if you're a stoner, highly, highly recommend. I don't recommend raw though. I bought this before they got sued, but apparently, apparently their natural rolling papers aren't actually natural and they're created in China. I'm not 100% about this, so don't come at me if I'm wrong, but do your research before you buy these if you do think about getting raw papers. Um, I just got a one and a half inch size. It's pretty tiny, but this gets the shit done. I have two really cheap lighters that I just keep in my bag. Uh, Cause like I said, you never know when you're gonna have to light up. Or light a candle. I love candles actually, I light a lot of candles. The only thing that's left in my bag now is the authentication badge that comes with your coach purse. Wear it, love it, pass it on. Look after your coach product today and tomorrow with our unique coach care services. And then it has a little scan code. Thought that was pretty cute. But yes, that was my purse and that was the contents of inside my purse. Thank you so much for watching my lovelies. If you like this video, like I said, make sure to leave a like down below to let me know you want to see more content like this. Yeah, subscribe if you want to see more content by moi. And I will see all of you lovely people in my next video. Grab some water if you haven't yet today as water is really important and being dehydrated actually is really bad for you. So don't dehydrate yourself, grab some water. Uh, alrighty. Bye.